I love it. And I bought it off the internet. I wanted to feel like a professional. You're looking very, very professional, I must say. <laughs> very, very good. I'm expecting good things from you today. Oh, don't get your heads up. <laughs> so today um, we were inspired by this book here, The Angry Cookie by Laura Dockrill um, and illustrated by Maria Carapidu. Um, to make our very own cookies and we're going to give them some different expressions, aren't we, Kat? We're so going to attempt to, yeah. We might have some angry cookies. <laughs> some sad cookies. <laughs> Maybe some silly cookies. Oh. First things first, though, we need to wash our hands. So let's get to it. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> right. We need to measure out our ingredients. So oh, I've got a little problem. Um, I don't have measuring equipment or a bowl or um, scales or anything like that. So I'm gonna improvise a lot of my stuff. In your um, outfit on the internet, you didn't think to buy any of the equipment to make? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't really think, no. I just was thinking about my costume. Right. And uh, I forgot <laughs> about everything else. So today, instead of a bowl, I'm going to be using a saucepan. I don't have any of those funny little measuring spoon things. Do you have those? I do. I've got um, my tablespoon ready, my teaspoon, and my half teaspoon. Look at that. That looks great. So I don't have that. So I'm going to be guessing a lot and using a good old standard tablespoon and a teaspoon. However, one thing I do have, I've got a whisk. Nice, very nice. Oh, I believe that. Oh, I don't have an electric one. I work out more of a sweat. <laughs> like it's my mini exercise for the day. Exactly. So, when you have your equipment ready, your tablespoons, your regular spoons, um, your bowls or your saucepans, um, your weighing scales or your spoons, you, you, you're going to be using spoons too. I'm going to be using spoons for everything. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> let's get measuring. Okay, what are you going to start with? I'm going to start with the butter. 150 grams of butter. Now, actually, you don't really need weighing scales for butter because often they have these markings on the back, so you can kind of work it out how much you need in it. Ah, that's clever. Mm, actually, yeah. I think it's around three quarters. Yeah, I would say so. This has got 200 grams, and we need 150. So I'll do three quarters of it. A lot of butter. Straight into the bowl. Hey, you might want to cut up your butter in, um, before you pop it in your bowl, just because um, then it might be easier to mix up if it's in smaller chunks rather than one big chunk. That's a good idea. Um, how are we going to do that? Oh, don't with the fork. And um, just chop it up. Ooh, lovely. Yum. Yum, yum. And then it'll be easier to melt, right? Not easier to mix, we're not melting it. Um, we're just gonna mix it up with the sugar. Good thing I didn't start melting it though. <laughs> How much have you chopped yours up? Um, just into like kind of little chunks about this size. Ah, okay. And I'm putting it into the mixing bowl now. Oh, cool. mine's already in my mixing saucepan. <laughs> yeah. There we go. The next thing we need to measure up is our sugar. Now you okay. can use um, soft brown sugar or you can use golden caster sugar. I'm using golden caster sugar. What about you, Kat? I'm going to use some caster sugar too. Nice, lovely. 150 grams. Measure it up with your weighing scale. Kat, how are you going to be yours? Um, I, I think 150 grams is around uh, maybe 10 tablespoons worth of sugar. Cool. So, um, hey, you can count with me if you want. And we're going to pour our sugar in with the butter. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Is it time to mix? It is time to mix. So we've got to whisk it until it's nice and light and fluffy. Fantastic. Okay. So you, you might get there a bit quicker than I do, because I've got a hand whisk. 
Yeah, here we go. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> I just sprayed everyone. Oh no! Stop <laughs> ah! cooking properly if you're not making a mess, right? <laughs> That's what they say. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know whether I'll use this electric whisk. <laughs> Quite a lot of sugar on my uh, laptop now. <laughs> I feel like I need to apologise to any professional chef. <laughs> Everybody go, no! What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand whisk mine because um. You're gonna use the hand whisk because uh, I'm just spraying sugar and butter all over the place. If you've got an electric mixer at home with a lid, then maybe you'll get this done much quicker than we are. It's meant to mix it until it's nice and light and fluffy. Right, it might be a while. I've somehow managed to get all of the content onto the whisk. Like my bowl is actually empty. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I think that's a talent in itself. Yeah. How's yours looking? I'm thinking, um, I, don't, I wouldn't call it light and fluffy. <laughs> I'd call it very more kind of sticky. More kind of sticky and in a ball. <laughs> la, la, la. Okay. okay. How's yours looking? I'd say it's light and fluffy. Yeah, let's have a look. You ready to show you mine? Yeah, okay, I think mine's the same consistency. Oh. So next up is next. to um, put in the egg. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, actually crack my egg into a cup, just in case. So I'm going to get an oh, eggshell. Yeah. So you don't want to smell in oh, oh, I've got a bowl here. Little bowl. I've got so my egg. Crack your egg into your vessel of choice. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? You were right to do that. I've got a lot of shell in it somehow. I don't know how that happened. Big lump of shell right there at the bottom, which I'm going to get out now. How are you getting on, Kat? Have you, <laughs> have you um, sorted your shell out? Nearly. <laughs> Done it! Once you've got your egg. Yeah. Put it into your bowl. Okay. There we go. And we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract as well. I've got my one teaspoon measuring spoon right here. But you can use a regular teaspoon, obviously. So you've put the vanilla extract in? Yeah, so that goes in with your egg. A tablespoon, right? Teaspoon, teaspoon. <laughs> I'm joking, I haven't done it yet. Like this. Then we beat it into the mixture. And beat it in. Beat it in. Ah, now it's starting to look good. Yeah, it's looking more like a, a mixture now, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I can smell that vanilla. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells good. Da, 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 da. I knew that it would. Da, 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 da. I reckon mine's mixed in enough. Yeah, let's see. Oh, nicely done. Yep, yeah, that's looking like a good mixture as well. Lovely. Next up is the flour and the baking powder. So we need 180 to 200 grams of baking powder. Of baking powder? Mm. Of, of oh, sorry, flour. I was going to say there's a lot of baking. These cookies are going to be massive. <laughs> Not even going about like half a teaspoon. Otherwise, we will have cookies exploding from the oven. Actually, that's quite a good idea. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that idea. Oh, Exploding like cookies. <gasps> you said how much flour? So, um, I'm going to go for 200 grams. So, so because I don't, I don't have weighing scales. Yeah. I've um, I'm going to do a bit of guesswork. I'm going to reckon that's maybe like. 14 tablespoons. One, two, oh, three, 
Put your um, half a teaspoon in. Yeah. Mix. Lovely, half a teaspoon, that's gone in. And now time to mix? Now time to mix, as fast as you can. Uh, I feel like if I do that, the flour's gonna go everywhere. Um, well, you can change your mixing device. If you have a, a wooden spoon, often that's a bit easier to fold it in, so. Such a great idea. Yeah, that'd be much better, because already, as you can see, oh, it's all stuck in the whisk. The wooden spoon. Not of doom this time. No, it's a wooden spoon of delight. Of triumph. Okay, here we go. Oh, so, so, that was an excellent tip, Hutch. It's so much easier to mix. Oh yeah, we are getting a cookie dough texture. And we also need to mix in, of course, the chocolate <gasps> chips. And I'm going for milk or Belgian milk chocolate chips here. And I'm um, going just going for this milk chocolate chip. I'm going to put the whole bag in. Have you put all of your chocolate in? I'm going to put the whole bar in, yeah. Can I just put the whole bag in? Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna just break mine into chunks because I like quite chunky chips. Ooh, yummy. Well, I think this is ready to make into cookies now. What do you think? Yeah. Cookie time! It's cookie time! Cookie time! Let's put your baking tray with your lined grease proof paper like so. So Kat, um, you're not meant to flatten out the cookies because they naturally flatten out in the oven. So, <laughs> um, what you want to do is kind of just make them into balls, like so. So you put some flour in your hands so that the um, dough doesn't stick to your hands. And this mixture should make 12 cookies. But if you want bigger cookies, you can make less. If you want smaller cookies, you can make more. You don't have to be perfect, your cookie balls, cookie dough balls. They can be a little bit messy. That's fine. I have made 12 exactly, but I've got a little bit of cookie dough left over. Do you think I should add it to an, one of the cookies or should I make a brand new cookie? Well, yeah, you could have 13 cookies, couldn't you? Yes. What we call the baker's dozen. So you've got one spare just in case it goes wrong. There we are. Okay. okay, let me try and lift it up without spilling okay. all my cookies. Yay. Oh, beautiful! Oh, yours are much neater circles than mine, I must say. But oh, I like that. I like that. So the oven needs to be at 160 degrees if you have a fan oven, 180 degrees if you do not. If you have a gas oven, it's a gas four. Should we put them in? Yeah, let's put them in. How long are they going in for? They are going in for eight to 10 minutes. Let's pop these into the oven. Okay. Have you got icing like this where you have to mix it up? No, I've got an icing tube that I bought. I'm very lazy. And I bought some ready made icing with designer tubes. Mm. So I'm just here, I'm mixing up. I just put a bit of water in and yeah. just adding the icing sugar to the consistency that I want. Well, I have finished screwing the cap onto my icing tube. Nice. Oh, so it's just water, fire, sponge. Oh, I like this version. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, I win, I win. Whoop, 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 whoop. Make 
making cookies in our kitchens. Ooh, it's beeping. It's beeping. It's ready to go. mess that I'm eating. I am happy too. <laughs> nice! They are looking good. I think they are. They ram. Nice cookies. Huge cookies. Well, you know what, Kat? I reckon the chef outfit worked for you because yeah. I had all the measuring equipment <laughs> and I've gone into squares, first of all. <laughs> and also, um, I spilled half of them. So it clearly comes down to the outfit. That determines whether you're good at something or not. Alrighty-ho, I think these are ready now. I think it's going to be quite tricky for me to do facial expressions. I'm going to attempt it. Oh. Okay, you've got to guess what emotion this cookie is. Okay. Okay. I think it's an easy one to start with. But let's see. <laughs> <laughs> pretty happy to me. It's an, a happy crying one because it's all melted. Oh. So that's the emoji it is. How's it looking? Looking pretty angry. Not looking very happy. <laughs> Shall I show you? Yes, please. Oh, that's so good. Right. This one, I tried to do like a winky shock face. Like, <gasps> oh, I like that. <laughs> ghosty as well. A bit ghosty. I've done a, a happy one. He looks a bit silly as well. Oh, I like that. I like how you give them eyebrows as well. Yeah. It's all about the expression. Yes. This one's like crying, kind of. Oh, yeah. Oh. Can you guess what this one is? Uh, Elvis? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I've done an angry cookie. You ready? I'm ready. Ah, oh, look at that. That looks yeah. good. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. So it was uh, quite nice to do something fun indoors. Definitely. And maybe you can make your own emotional cookies 
at yeah. home, see what emotions you're going to give your cookies or what personalities and characters. Yeah, if you do any and you fancy taking photos, do share with us on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Because we would love to see them. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.